Hey everyone, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with another knitting tutorial for you. This stitch is called the Slip Over Sweater Stitch and comes to us from a vintage knitting pattern and it's a really fun one to work. To work this stitch, you're going to need to cast on a multiple of nine stitches plus three. So for demonstration's sake, there are 12 stitches on my needle right here. And also for demonstration's sake, I worked the first four rows of the slip over sweater stitch. And so just follow the pattern as written until you get to row five. Row five is where things get a little more complicated um, to make this stitch happen. And so this is what in the pattern they refer to as a cable and twist row. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be twisting stitches and cabling them. Um, and the placement of our cable needle and where we skip stitches is really important for this one. So take a look. So right here, we're going to start by purling three stitches around where we're going to cable and twist. So there's purl three. And next, we're going to be doing a twist. So we're skipping not slipping, skipping the first stitch. So we're just leaving that stitch on the needle, but skipping it to work in the second stitch. And we're gonna be working into the front of the second stitch. So that means just pretend that first stitch isn't even there on your needle and work that second stitch, leaving both stitches on. And so we've brought our working yarn back through. And then we're going to work in that stitch we skipped before sweeping both stitches off our needle. And so that results in the twist part of the cable and twist. Next, what we're going to do is slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle and hold it at the back of our work. So slip one and then two stitches onto the cable needle and hold it at the back. Then we're going to knit the next two stitches before putting those two cable needle stitches back on our needle and working them. So this is going to re result in a two over two right leaning cable immediately next to those two stitches we twisted. And now we'll finish the row with a purl three. So taking a look at our swatch, what we've done for the cable and twist row, you can see right in here. So we've done right here and right here we've done our twisted stitches. And then right here and right here, you can see the work turning to the right just a little bit for that two over two right leaning cable. Now what we're gonna do is work a couple of easier rows. So row six, we are going to do the same thing that we did in row two. So we're just gonna follow the pattern for a few rows. So we're gonna knit three, purl six, and knit and then row seven will be a right side row which will start with purl three knit three and then we will do knit two together yarn over knit one and purl three and then so for rows eight nine and ten we're going to work rows two then three then two again for demonstration sake i'm just going to work row two and just pretend we've worked all those stitch, all those rows, just to make this demonstration go a little bit speedier. And always remember to keep cl a close eye on what your pattern calls for so that you're not skipping any important stitches that will affect the look of the finished stitch. So there's knit three. So now we're gonna fast forward to row 11, which is another cable and twist row. So it's worked really similarly to the other cable and twist row, but the twist placement is to the left of the cable instead of to the right. So row 11 begins with purl three. And so what we're gonna do instead of twisting right away, we're going to do the two over two right leaning cable. So that means we're gonna pull two stitches to our cable needle and put that at the back of our work, knit two, place those two stitches back on our needle before working those again, 
and then we are going to do a twisted stitch, which if you remember from before, meaning we skip that first loop, but leave it on the needle, work into the second stitch, work into that first one we skipped, sweep both off, and then finish out the row. And so what we've done is play with yarn overs and the placement of our twisted and cabled stitches so that we've got twists here, 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 and here, and then cables here, 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 and here. So this is that same stitch that we've been working on, but it's repeated twice horizontally and then twice vertically as well. So this twisted stitch and cabling variation is a fun way to incorporate a few eyelets into an otherwise bland cable knitting pattern. If you've got any other ideas for where you could place this really fun cabled and twisted stitch, let us know in the comments. And that's also a great place to reach out if you've got any questions. Don't forget to tune in again soon for more knitting tutorials. Thank you.